Welcome to our channel We The Influencer. In this video, we will discuss about Nijgaard International Airport in detail. So, watch this video till the end. 24 years ago, the government initiated discussions to construct a second international airport in Bara, a district in Terai region. Nijgaard International Airport is a proposed airport development project in southeastern Nepal designed to relieve expected capacity restraints at Tripuan International Airport in Kathmandu. Although the project has been in discussion for more than two decades, the plan gained traction after a Turkish Airlines flight skidded off the runway in March 2015 causing the Kathmandu Airport to close down for four days. Tripuan International Airport TIA, lies at the elevation of 1,338 meters above sea level in Kathmandu Valley which is surrounded by hills like Shivapuri, Fulchoki, Nagarjun, and Chandragiri. Due to the height of TIA and its geographical condition, plane cannot fly with full load. After conducting three level of technical study, the decision for the construction of airport in Nijgaard has been made. Even though there are so many places in Nepal, why Nijgaard has been chosen? Choosing appropriate location for airport itself is a complex work. It includes study of location of ground, geography of area, air safety, international air traffic, air navigation and so on. There is guided route for plane. There should be suitable condition for landing and takeoff. While talking about our location, Nijgaard, we can perform landing approach from 29,000 feet cruising altitude being in Nepal's airspace. The airport area lies 15 km away from Chia range, 27 km away from southern border and 45 km away from western border. So, there won't be any problem in case of holding in airspace. The proposed airport area is between Pasaha River on the east and the Bakaha River on the west. After the feasibility study done by LMW company, and study from national as well as international experts, it has been concluded that Nijgaard is an excellent place to construct airport as an alternative to TIA. Here are some descriptions about this airport. Nijgaard International Airport is planned to be the largest in South Asia and the fourth largest in the world in terms of land area, covering 8,045 hectares when completed. The airport will be developed in three phases. The first phase of works is expected to take 10 years to complete. After completion, the airport will be able to handle 15 million passengers annually. By the end of the third phase, the facility will have a parallel runway enabling it to handle 60 million passengers annually. A 76-kilometer Kathmandu Terai Expressway will link the capital with Nijgaard and people can travel from Terai to Kathmandu within one hour. Generally, in international practice, big airports should be at one hour driving distance from big cities. The airport will be constructed in boot model. According to Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal CAAN, the estimated cost for the project is 121 billion rupees, excluding the proposed airport city. The new airport will facilitate India's heavily populated states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. What is the progress till now? In the past four years, the government has invested 590 million rupees to fix the boundary and measure land plots, compensate landowners, fence the area and construct embankment in the streams, among other construction-related work. In the southern part, a wire fence, around 14 km, has been installed. The construction of an 8-kilometer embankment along the Pasaha stream and Lalbakaya river is in the final stage. The government had allocated 1 billion rupees for land acquisition. What are the benefits that can be obtained from this airport? 
There is no alternative to create this level of airline hub, because expansion of TIA is not possible due to urbanization and topography. Similarly, Gautam Buddha International Airport which is being constructed is very far away from Kathmandu and expansion of Pokhara International Airport is not possible due to its topographic condition. This project helps to develop Nepal as transit hub in South Asia. Long-haul flights from here increases connectivity with other countries around the world. According to aviation experts, the special air route planned for the airport passes over Mount Everest. Passengers would be able to see the world's highest peak closely. This should be Nepal's marketing strategy to attract foreign airlines connecting East Asia with the West to use the route. Nepal can earn by charging airlines for their flights in its airspace. It will help to develop Nepal as tourist nation. After the completion of this project, it will bring improvement in economic status of that region as well as in the nation. It will generate income for local people by creating job opportunities. It is beneficial for the local economy and also important for the country's economic stability in the long run. It will also decrease the pressure of Kathmandu. Although Pokhara International Airport, Berahawa International Airport is also being constructed but why big issues and dispute is created only in Nijgard project? Despite of its advantages, the project becomes controversial after the environment impact assessment showed that more than 2 million trees would have to be cut down to build the international airport in three phases. In the first phase, the project will be developed on 2,500 hectares of the total proposed area. For this, around 769,000 trees will have to be cut down. The construction of project has been halted because of the petition filed in Supreme Court and the construction is put on hold until final decision is made. What will be its impact on environment? The proposed airport is near to the Parson National Park which is home to 500 species of birds, 33 species of mammals, 23 endangered species of flora and fauna. 22 species of endangered animals the forest can be reforested, but where will these animals go? It will destroy habitat of many wild animals. After the completion of this project, the damage caused by it on environment and biodiversity would be irreparable. If the biodiversity is disturbed, it will have a direct effect on native elephants. The elephants use the same migratory route every year and destroying the route will affect the annual migratory pattern of the wild elephants. Not only on wildlife but this project will also impact on human settlement located near construction site. This project will hamper around 6,000 people living in Tanjayabasti in Jitpur, Samara Submetropolis Ward 16. The whole settlement needs to be relocated. As talking about big developmental projects of strategic importance, there always comes an environmental issue which either stops the project or makes its development process slow that will result in increasing cost of construction. We should consider environmental aspect but should we lose sight of how this mega project will benefit Nepal in the long run? Please put your thoughts on this project in the comment section below. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel.